Hello and welcome to another eBuddy tutorial where we are going to show you how to do goal getters and transactions for your goal getters to help you kind of wrap up that part of the sale. First thing we're going to do is log into eBuddy and remember that now everything that we do um, works with the girl order tab. The initial order has been locked and everything has been transferred over to this and most of you will see your initial order actually listed under cookie initial and cookie and special initial mine um, has been put in the cookie other just for demo's sake uh, one of the things that I want to point out real quick is that for my initial order I had 372 boxes ordered actually placed and then for my girls that took up 372. I didn't order any extras for booths or goal getters, so I am going to have to add a transactions for any extras that I want to place. Um, and the transaction means anytime I'm trading between either a troop and myself and my troop, or if I'm going to actually place a second order to a cupboard and go pick up more cookies that way. And um, for a very limited number of service units, some service units also have a small stockpile that they then distribute through there. Um, so what we're going to look at is just an individual girl and what happens if we um, try to add cookies when we don't have enough in our troops. So once again, um, we have our initial order here and if I go to add a transaction and I say this is for my goal getter or a GG and I come to the goal getter column and I want to say that they sold 30 boxes and I say that they paid everything, well we'll do that in just a second. So they pay 120 for those 30 boxes and I would say um, okay and I say save but it comes up with a little warning it says you don't have enough troop inventory assigned to record those numbers currently your troop has ordered 372 packages and you already have 372 packages to girls so I have no extras to be able to then give credit to girls so what do I actually need to do so that means I can just click anywhere and it's going to ask me if I want to save, but I'm going to go to the transactions tab. And here is where I can order more. But for goal getters, I need to know how much I actually should order. So even though I can click add a transaction, I don't know, I don't have by girl how much each one of them sold. And eBuddy doesn't actually have a calculator inside it. So we have created a little goal getter calculator that um, you can type the girl's name, so maybe girl1 in my case, and then we would type in what she ordered. And what we would do for that is just pull it off of her, um, oh, wrong one, there it is, off of her order. And as you can see, we had three more orders placed. Um, for a total of 18 boxes and here are all the boxes added up. I did have once again some of that money would come in from the digital cookie program um, so that would already the payment would already be there but just like in the initial order if I want it to count towards this you do have to wrap it up and put it into this column that that's how they're being distributed to the girl. So the money came in online so it was paid DC. I marked DC because I took this information from the the website as the parents should be doing that and then the other two were in person that I actually took their order when I was there or my daughter did and then I added it all up and I sent it to my troop leader and so then um, we would simply pull those numbers so we'd have um, one 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 five three three two and two. Sorry, I actually messed up the order here. That was zero. One, 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 five, three, three, two, two for a total of 18 boxes. And I would then add up the rest of the girls. So whatever they did, um, so on and so on and if I wanted to just keep on going we'll do one more girl three and we would take those numbers all right 
right, and then down at the bottom, I'm going to have my total packages that I need to order for my girls. So once again, I'm going to move this over here, but then I know that I can add this into packages. So I'd have two, and tab, tab, six, tab, tab, three, So we had our orders placed in there, and so now I have the actual packages um, for the totals of what each girl um, ordered, and I have it all summarized into one total, so I can just place one cookie transaction. If you want, you can change the receipt to um, Goal Getter. So then that way you know that the receipt, when it comes up over here, you know that you were putting this order in as a Goal Getter. Um, You'd also need to select whether or not it was from a troop or a cupboard, most likely your cupboard, whichever local cupboard you are using. Um, so I'm going to use the Boise one. Then I'm going to see the dates and times that it's available for pickup and any special instructions right there. Um, and hopefully we will be sending out the information of where each of these cupboards are so that you have all of that and the times that they are um, open. And then you would say either save and print or OK. For this example, I'm going to say OK, but I always highly recommend actually clicking save and print so that it actually saves right then. You don't have to print it, but it does save it immediately. But we're going to say OK just for the sake of being able to see it um, and then do one other transaction. Um, the other thing is, if you notice, I didn't have any others for booth sales. And we have a couple of booth sales. So just to add one more transaction, you can do this all in one transaction. You don't have to split it up like this. I'm just doing it so that you can see it. It's actually easier if you don't order in boxes um, and order in full cases. Your cupboard um, managers will love you for it. But if you need to, don't feel like you can't just order by the box unless your specific cupboard asks you not to. And they may have special instructions for that. But for my booths, um, I want to order because I have a couple of booths and I forgot to order for them. So let's um, quickly place an order for that. So I would go to the booth sale variety and I would say I'm going to do two booths and it will calculate out what I need to order. One of the things that I didn't point out before is that there are no s'mores or coffee-tastic actually being able to be ordered right now. Um, you can't place more in the cupboard and I did show it my mine still has it open for me to do anything but for all of you s'mores and toffee-tastic are unavailable in any of the cupboards so unfortunately um, if you see me adding them here they will not be available for you um, oh so now we'll place the numbers that I got on my um, booth cell variety calculator so I needed um, I needed one case oh. Tab, tab, one, tab, tab, one, tab, tab, five. And then because I can't order any of those, if I didn't place them on my initial order, I'm just going to say OK. Oh, once again, take my Boise one, and it does lock them out when you're actually on the cupboard. And so um, we will put those on there. And then I would save both of those transactions. And then when I come back immediately, even though they still say pending, which means that you haven't actually picked them up, they are going to be available for immediate distribution. Oh, oh and it's still not going to let me because I ordered these, so then I have to make these zero. Well, there you go. Good safety control that it won't let me do it, even if I accidentally tried to sneak them in there. I'm going to say OK, and then I'm going to save both of those. And as you can see, they are pending. So all of my orders are pending, which means I have not picked them up. The second you pick them up, they are no longer pending and they are no longer editable. They are still editable at any point as long as you have not picked it up. You can also edit it once you actually get to the location. You can make those changes. Um, when you get to your cupboard, they can change it right there on the spot so you don't have to worry. Um, so a couple of things is this is two orders. 
One's by box, one's by case. If you want to, you can put it all, you could just round up an extra case, or you could say, um, maybe I don't even want this one at all, and I'll just use my booth cookies to fill my goal getter. If you already ordered um, for your goal getters and your booths in the initial order, it's all wrapped up in that total number up here, and you wouldn't even have to worry about placing an extra order. This is only if you need extra cookies. Um, in my troop, um, for instance, needed the extra one. So now that I have those on there, now you'll see that I have a negative 224. That means I have 224 boxes that I have yet to distribute out to the girls. So once again, if we go to, um, this is actually girl number four, um, who we didn't have a goal getter order for. So let's click on, here it is, girl one. And if you recall, we had their order right over here on our um, goal getter variety calculator but the nice thing is I don't have to add in by variety anymore I actually just need the total boxes sold so they sold 18 at this point and hopefully they would actually get up to 30 at some point but we would just put under the GG column 18 oh we actually don't want to do it on this one so we're going to zero that out and add a new transaction we say add a new transaction gg there we go add capital ops on there it is 18 and we say okay and then you can see that it's adding to the total and you will see we'll save it go down to the next one and we had girl number three and they sold 18 as well and so we'll add a transaction gg Oops. there it is 18 boxes okay and save if you do know their money you can add the money in right then if you know that they turned it all in otherwise just add what they've actually done you can do it as a separate transaction as an add payment so that they just did $72 and I can say GG payment so that way I know exactly why that transaction is there so it's the counteracting or I could put it all into one line either way works and then save and we'll do our last goal getter just to wrap it up. And goal getter number. Oh, I think we just did that one. Girl number two. Add that final. G. All the way on the end. Goal getter column. And if they do hit that 30 mark, so if I put in 30, it will automatically trigger for them that they earned. Um, the um, the gold getter diva patch. So they do need to have 30 in this column to actually earn the gold getter diva patch. Um, and that really is kind of an up to the troop leader to decide when they were supposed to sell those. But we do ask that they were sales made between um, January 30th or 31st to um, February 23rd. Although goal getters can be used the entire sale for girls still selling as an individual and taking orders and coming back to the troop. It's up to the troop to tell girls, no, we're not give, giving out any more inventory. So the last piece of this is that these numbers over here, once you actually collect these numbers and you've actually got the cookies on hand, then you do need to give the girls these numbers back. And this is a good way to know which numbers. Um, so girl number one needed one Samoa, one tree foil, one dosi -do, and so on and so on. And that's what I'm gonna use as a record to say, this is what I need to give to her so that then she can tur um, turn around and make those deliveries out to the goal getter customers that she had. Um, and that is basically how we wrap up the goal getter section of our program from start to finish. Um, whether or not you need to actually go and get orders, an order filled from the transaction and pick up from the cupboards is really dependent on your troop and whether or not you ordered enough for the goal getter um, sale. Um, a lot of times troops are surprised at how many more boxes girls actually sold and do have to make a kind of a run to the cookie cupboard. 
and you can always and I once again I highly recommend not doing boxes and not doing two orders if you don't have to if you want to just round up um, and put it all into one big order for the either just uh, for booths and goal getters if you forgot to place it on the initial order or if you want to use your initial order cookies um, that you ordered for others in booths uh, to be able to distribute out to the girls either way is okay that's just the way to do it if you really want to see it all split out on how you took those cookies hopefully that helps you all out and uh, we'll uh, just give us a call or an email if you have any questions thanks